My name is Bob Grum with Building Point Mid-America. Today we're going to teach you how to do patterns within Trimble Field Link. The great thing about patterns is, is it will provide you a shortcut to create multiple points for specific objects such as anchor bolt patterns or a pattern for a four foot offset from a column intersect. Alright, here we are back in Trimble Field Link and we have our background model. This is going to be the one line and this is the A line. So we're going to create a four foot offset around that intersect. What we're going to do first is we're going to go to our create tab up top. Then we're going to hit pattern in the bottom. And these blocks are one foot blocks. So I'm going to start here and we're going to make a, a four foot offset all the way around. Now what I need to do is add this add these points to this pattern which is down here. We will then save the pattern and we are going to name the pattern up here. This will be 4 foot offset column intersect. I'm going to now save the pattern down at the bottom right and then we are going to place the pattern, which is using this button down here. We will then scroll in a little bit so we can see it a little tighter here. And we will select our pattern, which is our four foot offset column intersect. I apparently don't know how to spell offset. Um, we're going to load the pattern up right here. We will then just click on this point and it will load our points here. Now we have the options here of rotating this. Currently I have it on a 45 degree which is indicative down here. I can turn it to a 90 which obviously is going to show us that. If I turn this to a 30 degree it gives us a much different look. The other thing that we can do is we can come down to the information sheet or it's also known as pen and paper and we could create a custom angle right here. All right. The other thing that we can do is if we are creating these to set up control we could mark this as our control points. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to actually create these now and as you can see we have these numbered as offset one, two, three, and four. Now if I want to come over to our next point or our next column intersect I can do the same thing. Then I would just hit create again and you'll notice that our numbering sequence continues with offset five, six, seven, and eight. Alright so we just got done showing you a simple four foot offset at column intersects. Now we're going to get into a pattern that's a little bit more complicated. I'm going to show you how to take a column base plate and create an anchor bolt pattern for that. We're going to use column intersect number five down here. We're going to the create button again. We're going to our pattern button and we're going to create a new pattern. Now what we're going to do is this blue line in the center right here is our Y axis and then we have the X axis going this direction. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create on the Y axis I am going to make this six inches above the X axis. So I'm going to put in point five feet. I'm going to go back to our information button and know that this is where I want this to be. I'm going to then add the point down here which creates it. Now I want to go a foot to the left of that. So I am going to go back to my Y value and go 0.5 feet again. And on my X axis I'm going to go to a negative one foot. We will hit our information button. Does this is this where I want this to be? Yes it is. 
I'm going to hit add point again. Now I want to go to the right of this. I'm going to again go positive or 0.5 feet and I'm going to now go one foot in the positive in the X. That will put me over here, which is exactly where we want it. I'm going to add that point. Now I'm coming back here to the Y axis again. I am going to go a negative 0.5 feet, which just then puts us on the, on, on the other side of the X axis. I'm again going to add that point. Coming back over to the pen and paper, I always like to start with the Y axis myself. So I'm, I'm going to go, oops, miss that one. I need to go negative 0.5 feet. And then I need to go to a negative one foot on the X axis. We'll see that's the correct position. Again, add the point, come back here going negative 0.5 feet and we are going to go just one foot in the positive here. We'll check our positioning again and we will add that point. We are now going to save the pattern down here and I am going to call this uh, anchor bolt pattern. We'll save our pattern again down here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to come here. We're going to select our pattern, which will be our anchor bolt pattern right here. I will select that. I will come back down here to load the pattern. So the pattern has been loaded successfully. I'm going to then come over to our information sheet here. I am going to make sure that this is called anchor bolt number one. My angle is zero, so this should come in just how we want it to. Now I'm going to come to the column intersect and we can see here that it is laid horizontally if you want to think of it that way. Let's say it's not the way it should be. I need to turn this 90 degrees. I can just turn it this way before I create the actual points over here. So let's say that we actually want it in this uh, orientation right now. I am now going to hit create. And as you can see, we've got anchor bolt one, two, three, four, five, and six. Thank you for your time today. I hope you found this video helpful to you. If you did, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This will allow you to get future updates from us as new videos become available. Thank you very much for your time and we appreciate it.